Well, would you look at that? There truly is a first for everything. And the nature of that title alone is the only living and breathing proof we need. Or I, I suppose the title of a YouTube video isn't exactly living nor breathing, but I'm sure you understand exactly what I mean. Not once did I ever expect myself to be creating a positive statement regarding the Roblox verification system. Of all things, on this entire platform, that would very very likely be the bottom of my list and whether you're new or old to Roblox I know that you don't need me to tell you the reasons why. At Chloe B Games new verification thing when you log out not sure if you get the item on the screen because I've never tried it but it's likely. This is the tweet that I got sent and here's the funny thing I both cannot find anyone else that has experienced this pop-up box yet and so that also means that no one else is talking about this update just yet so I don't know if that means anything significant but I know one thing with certainty that it does mean I am finally not late to be talking about something or at least I hope I'm not but the very top of the box says don't get locked out and the only word I can think of to say right now is finally finally Roblox are doing something to tackle the issue that is so big and so presently active and I guess we could even call it a much more serious problem I don't even know where to start with telling you just how many messages I've received of people telling me that they are trying to log into their Roblox account but they forgot their password or it seems that their password just isn't working and after I give them the advice of emailing Roblox and how they can and will help you get back into your account, they proceed to tell me that they didn't have an email address linked to their Roblox account. Before logging out, please add your email address so that you don't get locked out and from there it gives you a box to enter the email address along with two options of continue for when you have entered something or you can go with skip log out anyway which in most cases would be a very big mistake. Hello there, please make sure to leave a like on this video and you'll be my favourite person in the whole entire world. I'm sure you know how it goes by now. And of course, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already because we are currently trying to reach 300,000 subscribers and I would very much like to do so. Here's the thing and why having a confirmation email linked to your Roblox account is extremely important and why I continue to be super shocked that Roblox doesn't have it be a requirement when signing up. If you log out of your account on Roblox, that's fine because you can obviously just log back in with no problems and all that you have to do is not forget your password but under the circumstances that you do forget your password or that your password simply doesn't seem to be working and it's not letting you log back in on any other website that you would have signed up for the next step would be to go through the forgot password thing and typically that's when they ask for your email address so that they can send you a reset password link but what happens next with the Roblox if and when you don't have a confirmation email linked with your account and yet you still can't can't log in. I know that they do allow you to also reset your password if you forget it by using your phone number but if people aren't connecting their email address with their account I really can't imagine they would go through the troubles of linking a phone number with their account instead. I can't say I've ever come face to face with experiencing an issue with such nature personally but after seeing how widespread of a problem this truly is it has always annoyed me that Roblox don't require you to add an email it's more of a choice and I'm pretty sure that on the sign up page they don't even have a box for you to input an email address and even after you do sign up they still don't strictly require you to add one into your account settings and in fact I'm pretty sure that they don't ever mention that that is something you can do. Obviously up until right now with this new update it's, it's still not a permanent fix and it's not quite what I, I was hoping for when it comes to trying to reduce this particular problem but it's definitely a start and it's a whole lot closer to completely eliminating the issue than we have ever been before. So I, I think we should take what we get at the moment, you know beggars can't be choosers and all of that blah blah blah. Maybe some players on Roblox don't have an email or perhaps they are simply just too young to have an email address but if it comes down to not having one just make one. It literally takes 60 seconds at a maximum and it can obviously save your Roblox account in the long run or if the person is too young to create one 
then all they need to do is ask their parents if they can use their email address. Like the parents don't even need to do anything besides click on a confirmation link and maybe a small reset password button should their child ever forget their password at any point. Thinking of that kind of reminds me of Club Penguin where they would ask for your parents email address no matter what age you said you were. Like you could have set your age as 99 years old and Club Penguin would still be out here asking for the email address of your parents. But whatever email you decide to give them, even if it's your own, you end up receiving an email saying something like, your child would like to create an account on Club Penguin, is that okay? My point is, if it's that easy to have people input their email address on the sign up page or to ask for permission to write down their parents' email address and it literally won't let you create an account without that vital piece of information, then why on earth has Roblox never done the same thing? All you have ever needed to create an account in Roblox is a username and a password, but if you don't link an email address later on then I seriously hope that you didn't plan on keeping your account for very long. Like I still don't know if this is a real update that is coming to Roblox or has already arrived on Roblox, but after searching and searching for a decent amount of time, the only examples I could find were the person who sent it to me in the first place and then one additional person on Twitter. New update for Roblox, it's when you log out and I was super excited to see that this one had two replies because I really thought that I would get to see what other people thought about it or maybe even get to see other people that also have seen this update but unfortunately both replies were just from these bots that are programmed to reply on pretty much every Roblox tweet ever so that they can scam people. So I would assume the don't get locked out update is a real thing that is slowly getting rolled out to everyone on Roblox that doesn't already have a confirmation email attached to their account and I don't know why someone would ever go through the trouble and effort to edit something like this and then send it to me. I just found it slightly strange that I've only managed to find two people talking about this or two people with this update so far. But with that being said, I truly hope it is a real update that Roblox is giving to various different people across the platform and I'm not lying when I said that I believe this is the best verification update that they have ever given us. It's not quite fixing the capture and so even if people do end up adding an email because of this one pop-up box, I doubt they'll be able to log back in anyway because the capture wouldn't let them. But at least they now know that the option is there. So now I just hope that people take this seriously and use it as an opportunity to link an email address and they just don't just choose to skip the box and log out anyway because it probably takes a maximum of 30 seconds to verify your email and it potentially saves you from a truckload of stress that would have happened had you been locked out of your Roblox account. So if you don't have an email address attached to your Roblox account then absolutely go do that right now. Drop everything you're doing and go add an email. Like you even need the email activated and verified on your account to enable two-step verification which absolutely every single person on this platform should have. So there's really no reason not to, so I'm asking you please to go do that. But only get sync of quite possibly the best Roblox verification update that this platform has ever gotten because this can and will save a lot of accounts. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.